Hello and welcome to Product Chronicles, the place where we break down the biggest success stories in tech and uncover what makes them work. If you are fascinated by how digital tools reshape industries and want to understand the strategy behind their success, you are in the right place. Today we are diving deep into CapCut, the video editing app that seemingly came out of nowhere but has now become the dominant force in mobile video editing. If you've ever wondered how CapCut took over the space, became a secret weapon for TikTok creators and is now threatening giants like Adobe and Apple, this is the video for you. After watching this video, you'll understand how CapCut used AI, growth hacking and seamless integration to dominate the industry, the hidden product strategies that made CapCut so addictive, why competitors are scrambling to keep up, the risks ahead, privacy concerns, monetization changes and increasing competition, what product managers, startup founders and tech enthusiasts can learn from this success story. So whether you are a content creator looking to up your editing game, a tech geek for Following the evolution of digital products or a product manager analyzing growth strategies, this video is packed with insights you won't want to miss. Now let's get started. To understand how CapCut became such a success, we need to look at the people behind the product. By dance, the parent company of CapCut has a reputation for aggressive iteration and data-driven decision-making, and that's reflected in how they build this app. One of the key figures behind CapCut's rise is Yang Zhenyan, the founder of Zhenyan, the original version of CapCut that was launched in China in 2019. Unlike traditional product leaders in Silicon Valley, who often come from a mix of business and engineering backgrounds, Yang Zhenyan was heavily focused on algorithm-driven product design. Yang's expertise in AI-powered video editing came from his previous experience working on machine learning models for content optimization. His vision for CapCut was not just about making an easy-to-use editor, it was about creating a fully automated content creation tool that could allow anyone to edit like a professional without technical skills. Oh, uh, you fellas have nothing to worry about. I'm a professional. Another key figure behind ByteDance's product strategy is Kelly Zhang, the CEO of ByteDance China. Known for her leadership in driving TikTok's explosive growth, Zhang played a pivotal role in aligning CapCut with ByteDance's broad ecosystem. Under her guidance, CapCut was designed not as a standalone app, but as an extension of TikTok's creator suite, ensuring that users could seamlessly transition between reporting, editing, and publishing. I'm ready to transition from a life built around work to a life built around one another. ByteDance's approach to product management is very different from the United States model. In China, PMs work in a highly engineering-driven environment where data and rapid experimentation drive decisions. Instead of long-term roadmaps, product teams focus on short sprint cycles, releasing new features weekly or even daily to test user engagement. In contrast, US companies like Adobe or Apple take a more top-down strategic approach, often spending months on user research before launching a new product update. ByteDance's PMs also follow a deep analytics-driven approach, where real-time user data determines feature rollouts. Features that perform well in smaller test markets get expanded rapidly, while those that don't are scrapped within weeks. This contrasts sharply with Silicon Valley's reliance on focus groups, design sprints, and structured user testing before a product reaches a broader audience. It's about connecting with the audience. This fast-moving, data-first mindset allowed CapCut to evolve at breakneck speed. It wasn't just a video editor, it was an AI-powered content production machine that constantly adapted based on how users interacted with its features. The goal was always to remove friction from content creation, making a professional-level editing accessible to a mass audience. CapCut's success wasn't accidental, it was the result of a carefully executed growth strategy, fueled by ByteDance's expertise in product iteration, ecosystem integration, and AI-driven user engagement. Let's break down the key factors that contributed to CapCut's meteoric rise. One of the most significant reasons behind CapCut's rapid adoption was its deep integration with TikTok. Unlike standalone video editors like Adobe Premiere Pro or Final Cut Pro, 
cap car was built from the ground up to work directly with TikTok's content ecosystem. Users could edit videos in CapCut and instantly upload them to TikTok without any loss of quality, no additional exporting steps, no reformatic issues, just a seamless transition from editing to publishing. Smooth, very, very smooth stuff, very classy. I'm learning a lot from you right now, dude. Even more importantly, CapCut didn't add watermax to videos, which was a major advantage over competing apps like InShot and Kinemaster. This meant that content creators could edit professional-looking videos without any branding restrictions, making CapCut the preferred tool for TikTok users looking to create polished content. TikTok also played a crucial role in CapCut's virality. By strategically promoting CapCut edited videos on its For You page, TikTok ensured that the best-looking content was often created using CapCut, reinforcing the app's necessity among creators. Traditional video editing software has a steep learning curve. Professional tools like Premiere Pro and DaVinci Resolve require technical skills, making them intimidating for casual creators. By Dance recognized this gap and made AI-powered automation the core of CapCut's value proposition. EAI-driven features that accelerated adoption were auto-captions, automatically generate subtitles for videos, saving creators hours of manual work, AI smart editing, one-tap transitions, automated effects and pre-built templates optimized for engagements, facial beautification and background removal, AI-powered retouching and green screen effects removing the need for external software, music and sound recommendations, AI suggests trending music and sound effects to enhance videos. By incorporating these one-click editing features, CapCut made high-quality video production accessible to anyone, not just professional editors. This significantly lowered the barrier to entry, leading to mass adoption. Another game changer. CapCut launched as a completely free app without restrictions, no premium version, no watermarks, no locked features. While competitors like Kinemaster charged for premium effects and watermark removal, CapCut gave away everything for free. For This wasn't an accident, by Dance used a classic loss leader strategy, where the goal wasn't to make money from CapCut directly, but to drive more content creation for TikTok. More high-quality videos meant high engagement on TikTok, which in turn boosted TikTok's ad revenue. The result? CapCut quickly became the default choice for TikTok creators, while competitors that railed on subscription-based models struggled to keep up. <coughs> <sighs> While most apps take years to expand globally, CapCut scaled at lightning speed, launching in multiple languages and regions within months of its international release. By Dance's global infrastructure, which had already been built for TikTok, allowed CapCut to leverage the same cloud services, AI models, and localization teams. Biden's also applied its aggressive user acquisition strategies, using targeted ad campaigns on TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube to bring in new users. By the end of 2022, CapCut had over 200 million monthly active users and was consistently among the top 10 most downloaded apps worldwide. One of the smartest things CapCut did was to turn its users into its biggest promoters. How? By adding a CapCut template feature that allowed users to share their editing styles with others. Here is how it worked. When a TikTok creator made a viral edit using CapCut, they could share their template, allowing other users to replicate the effect with just one tap. This created a viral loop. As more people used CapCut templates, the app gained visibility and even more users downloaded it. The social proof growth model is similar to how Canva grew in the design world. By allowing users to share and remix templates, CapCut ensured that its user base would constantly promote the app without paid advertising. But with massive success comes new challenges. Can CapCut stay on top, or will competitors find ways to fight back? That's what we'll explore next. CapCut's meteoric rise has been nothing short of impressive, but with success comes new challenges. As competitors catch up and business models shift, CapCut is now facing hurdles that could determine its long-term dominance. Let's break down the biggest challenges ahead. I've thought it over and I accept your challenge. 
As CapCut continues to dominate the video editing space, one of the biggest obstacles it faces is growing privacy and security concerns. Because CapCut is owned by ByteDance, the same company behind TikTok, many governments and regulators have started scrutinizing its data policies. Countries like the United States, India and the European Union have raised alarms over how much user data is collected, where it is stored and how it is used. With governments already banning or restricting TikTok in certain regions, there is a looming question, could CapCut face similar restrictions? If data privacy laws tighten further, CapCut may be forced to alter its data storage policies, remove certain features or even limit availability in key markets. This could impact its growth trajectory and force ByteDance to make tough product decisions. This is your red pill or blue pill moment, my friend. CapCut has been completely free since launch, which helped it attract millions of users, but now ByteDance is shifting gears towards monetization, which brings new risks. The introduction of CapCut Pro, a premium subscription with advanced effects, cloud storage and AI tools, suggests a freemium model is taking shape. But the question remains, will users be willing to pay? Other video editing apps like Adobe Premiere Rush and InShot already struggle with subscription fatigue. If CapCut starts restricting key features behind a paywall, will users stick around or will they look for alternatives? The challenge for CapCut is balancing monetization and user experience. If they push too hard for revenue, they risk alienating their massive free user base. If they don't monetize effectively, they risk losing out on long-term profitability. The effects of a heroin overdose are lethal. Yes, in the short term, but there's been absolutely no research into the long-term effects. CapCut's dominance has forced competitors to react, and now some of the biggest names in tech are coming for a piece of the mobile editing market. Adobe is fighting back by making Premiere Rush more user-friendly and integrating AI-driven tools similar to CapCut. TikTok itself has enhanced its built-in editing features, reducing the need for an external editing app. Canva has launched a video editor, positioning itself as a simple drag-and-drop solution for short-form content creators. Apple and Samsung are improving their native mobile editing tools, making built-in software a more viable option. CapCut's biggest advantage is its deep integration with TikTok, but if TikTok keeps improving its native tools, will users still need CapCut? One of CapCut's key selling points is its AI-powered editing, but as AI tools become more advanced, ethical questions arise. There are so many questions spinning around in my head. For example, CapCut's AI-driven facial enhancements and background removals have sparked debates around manipulated content, deepfakes and digital identity distortion. Governments and regulators are beginning to crack down on AI-generated media, which could force CapCut to change how it applies AI in its features. I'm computer-generated. There is also the risk of over-automation. While AI-powered editing makes content creation easier, does it take away creative control from users? If too many decisions are automated, will creators feel disconnected from their work? These are challenges that CapCut's product team must carefully navigate. As already mentioned, CapCut's success is largely tied to TikTok, but that creates a dependency problem. If TikTok were to decline in popularity, would CapCut go down with it? To future-proof itself, CapCut needs to expand beyond TikTok users and attract a wider creator audience. This means improving its desktop version for professional editors, enhancing features for YouTube Shorts, Instagram Reels and Snapchat creators, and providing cross-platform integration with more social media platforms. ByteDance doesn't want CapCut to be seen as just a TikTok tool, but can they successfully make it a standalone platform-agnostic editing app? That will be a defining factor for its future. Before we wrap up, let's try to crystallize differences between Western and Eastern product management schools. Chinese product management refers to speed and execution. Features are tested and rolled out quickly to see what sticks. Data trumps intuition, AI and automation, heavy reliance on AI to enhance user experience, like auto caption, smart editing and AI beautification. Iterative A-B testing, multiple versions of a feature are often released simultaneously to different user groups. Platform ecosystem, apps are deeply integrated into larger platforms like CapCut and TikTok, WeChat and mini programs. For US product management, it is more about long-term strategy, features go through extensive research, usability testing and phased rollouts. 
user-centric design is also important. Emphasis on simplicity and intuitive design over AI automation is here. Growth metric focused on monetization, subscription-based revenue models like Adobe Premiere Pro, Final Cut Pro, privacy regulation aware like compliance with strict data protection laws like GDPR and CCPA. These differences explain why CapCut could grow so rapidly while remaining completely free. ByteDance wasn't trying to make money directly from the app. Instead, the goal was to fuel TikTok's creator ecosystem by lowering the barrier to high-quality content creation. CapCut changed the game in mobile video editing by making professional tools free, AI-powered and effortless to use. But staying on top is harder than getting there. With data privacy concerns, monetization risks, fierce competition, AI challenges and the need for independence from TikTok, CapCut's future is far from guaranteed. This doesn't really work. Two out of three times. Guaranteed. The question remains, will CapCut continue to dominate or will a new player take its crown? Let me know what you think in the comments. Like, subscribe and stay tuned for more deep dives into the biggest tech stories.